Uh, hey, ladies and gents, welcome here. I want to talk a little bit about positioning. Um, with positioning, I mean where on the map should you pick your fights and where not. It's really important because that way uh, you need to really think about how your team can help you out and uh, where you're definitely going to lose a fight. So, in this case, um, Shingen's going to help me out here on a map called Sandy Bush. This is a, a really heavy infantry map if you play it correctly um, in my opinion alright so everything that has like a narrow gap here and then spreads to open is called choke points uh, this could be a possible choke point um, and this could be a nice place to hold up infantry what you're doing here is creating some opportunity for the guys behind you to set up um, but this is not really the fight that you want to pick because if you look behind Shinken, uh, if they set up with their archers on top right there, uh, you're pretty much screwed and you're just in the open. So what you should do right here is just drop back a little bit till around this corner so you don't see the archers on that anymore. Um, this is a bad spot again, so if Shinken follows me up to this point and their whole troops follow me, this is a bad spot once again. Because what you're doing is you're fighting right here in the middle. You're in a, a really open space. And you're also creating chance for their archers to go up on the ladder. So if you would pull back, pull back by the walls here. And this way you kind of block out their troops to go from up. Um, you still create a lot of chance there for calf to pass you by. But at least you're blocking out one that you're certain of. Calf, you're never certain and you can never see that much coming. Especially if they just like whoop from around the corner. Um, so once again, this point is uh, <laughs> not a good point. So you want to drop back a little bit more. And here again, you see two buildings like cornering out. So this is another choke point. Now this is uh, a really fine one and a really a 50-50 one. As you have up there, probably the archers on Shingen's side. But if you look around, we have a setup right there that archer could be. Or we have the stairs on my left here um, where our troops can go on. So this is a good choke point. You're blocking out their infantry and you see every calf coming that's going to come in front of you. Which you can stop as well if you have the momentum. Um, so this is a good place to fight. Now, um... When fighting as infantry, you always need to think about this, like where can I hold up the other troops and how can it benefit my team so they can help me. You're not helping your uh, your archers mainly, your archers are helping you. And so if you, if you play like very, very alone solo work, you, you're guaranteed to die in battles and sieges and whatever. Um, so really, really need to think about this. Um, Alright, so let's say that Shingen gets through, like uh, most of the troops have gone on this ladder, they've crossed, they've jumped down over that balcony going to my archer. Then I want to drop back even more to the next choke point, which is these two buildings. Now standing here is not a good option for the very same reason that I've talked about with the very first... Um, oh, it's down. Crap. <laughs> we'll have to run back to this point. But standing right there uh, is not a good option for the very first thing that I said before, uh, which is they have a lot of archer abilities and a lot of open ground where their calf can roam about. Um, so if I go back to that point, so you see on top right there that that's all possessed by uh, their archers. They can walk up to this um, little stand up here and set up on that wall, they can go behind that palm tree there, maybe on your left, they can go everywhere. So I'm really vulnerable while I'm actually holding a choke point, which is a good thing. This is not the place that I personally want to fight as an infantry. What you do want to do is if you go around here next to the wall, like it's not even that far, this whole change right here disables everything that they have from rangers on the right side for you to be able to hit. While you're still kind of holding that choke point, they have the ability to spread out to the right a little bit. But if they do so, you see that I got a lot of setup for my troops with me, behind me. And so therefore, um, I am doing the right hold right now, rather than being here. So this is uh, positioning pretty much. You always need to think about 
where can I set up for my troops and how do I not get hit while trying to set up because if you're just standing here taking uh, arrows to your shield and maybe even Shingen pressuring me and hammering me then I'm bound to go down and I'm under so much pressure, I don't even look behind me. Like, if, if any calf or something comes behind me, I'm totally screwed. Whereas if I stand here, then Shingen will be the one pressured to come out because I have a lot of troops behind me. Um, and those troops will definitely be helping me out if something comes behind me as well. Um, so keep that in mind. Use your walls, use your choke points. Um, and pick the fights on the right position and therefore you'll be rewarded by getting more kills and definitely dying less than uh, the average person person would be.